Now I know I've talked about air fills. When you have two machines side by side, there's nothing in either drain. When you have air fills, I'm going to show you what happens. That's the sound of money. You wanna know what sound of money is? That's it. Ching, 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 ching. Ching, 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 ching. Now I know I've talked about air fills. When you have two machines side by side, there's nothing in either drain. When you have air fills, I'm gonna show you what happens. Right here. Some laundromats have a drain trough. This laundromat doesn't. Basically you have the farm machine and then this machine all drained down into a pipe into a floor. Now if this was a drain trough, it would basically, we'd have a screen, we could clean it out. But what happens in one of these little guys here is basically somewhere down in here we got a lint or a clog because when I went to remove this after I tested those machines basically this was just backing up with soap it couldn't drain so the air fill was it couldn't get rid of material to add more material and it was taking too long to drain itself so it was basically it should have said it was it basically couldn't drain but it basically could not rinse it couldn't go to the next cycle so it said air fill so when you have two machines side by side both have the same air it may not be the bra wire so at first I just had one breakdown. I thought, well, I got a bra wire, so I shut it off. Then the next day the next one broke down. And I'm like, oh, something bigger. And like I said, we're gonna take that apart because there's something in there. Now that I got that pipe off, there's the drain. And we can look down in there, we kind of see we've got something going on. There isn't a trap right there. Cleaned out. Now we got the drain unclogged, it was nothing dramatic. I was hoping to pull a bunch of garbage out and there really wasn't anything in there. There was a wad, but it went on down. So that took care of that one. Now this one has a credit card, a driver's license, stuck down in here in the bottom of the basket. Down in here is basically uh, the bottom of the drain where it connects to your, your uh, drain valve. The drain valve runs up to a boot up to here and stuff gets stuck in there and it won't let the water drain or it messes with it and really the only way to get it out is take the rest of this cover off the drum cover off and the drum out i don't want to do that so we're going to try to get it out with my hands i want to show you what it looks like inside here maybe we can see this i don't know can you see that down in there I'll try to make it so you can see that can you see that credit card there's the drain hole there. You can kind of see it. You see the credit card. Hopefully this is the credit card's right there on that edge. Yeah. 
So anyway, I'm gonna try to get that out of there. I'm gonna try to stick my fingers up in there, like right in there. You can see it. You can see it kind of moving. Yeah, that didn't work, you know. Coat hanger or anything metal work good to get up there and reach it. And then, hopefully I have a pair of needle nose pliers. I got a pair of wire cutters, but needle nose pliers would be great to like pull that out. This should be fun, have a camera in the way and try to work on a machine. This is the kind of level of uh, videos I get to for you guys. Here we go. Think of it like a claw machine. Alright. Now we gotta see if this. See it just barely. So we gotta get creative, folks. Gotta get creative. Hopefully, oh, needle nose a bit, needle nose pliers. Let's try the hook again. Oh, almost. Look at that. This is like a claw machine, man. Claw kicker would have his hate in this. I'm almost there. And I can bend that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're going to get her, folks. We're going to get her. What do we have? Ooh. We got a debit card. Let's call that guy. We got a debit card. I always check these while I'm at it because that's where they get caught, right here in this lip. I was going to do a video of how late night work is, but I'm almost done. Let me see we put this boot on and go home. Yeah, we got both of them running. I'm gonna wait and see what they do. Right now, they're just filling up water. That was already filled and going. That was catching up. You can always tell when they fill up because once they fill up, once they fill up, they automatically go to their next minute. So it may not take them a full minute to fill up. Once those things start to click down to 23. Sensor sensor full. You hear a click here in a minute. I might click the water mouth shut off. See, there you go. Now I'm not going to 23. You see that? And it doesn't have to be a full minute. I mean, as fast as they can get the water in there to get that sensor to go off. Go. Now these washers will tell themselves if after so many minutes they don't get to that, that's when they do that air fill code. Doing that job, fixing those machines, doing the, taking the credit card out, or taking the bra wire, that's a hundred dollar an hour job. Doing rotor router work, that's a ten dollar an hour job. And why I mean, when you have a business, you want to do the hundred dollar an hour jobs. You do not want to do the min minuscule stuff. Like cleaning is a ten dollar an hour job. If you can hire it out and pay to have it done, do it. Changing it out, $100 an hour job. Buying the laundromat, finding the laundromat, $100 an hour job. Um, installing equipment, you can hire that done, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, but that's a $100 an hour job. And so that's why I do my repairs. That's a $100 an hour job. And if you want to make money, 
you want to do the expensive jobs and you want to save the cheap stuff like the cleaning and the windows and that for somebody that's not charging a whole lot. Like here I have pest control and all my laundromats. Do I bother go buy the spray, spray the laundromats? No. Just like the yard work. I have somebody do the yard work. You know, cleaning. Have somebody do the cleaning. The reason is because that's a $10 an hour job or $15 an hour. You want to do the high dollar stuff if you're going to make the money. And you get your free time back. Part of your income you're going to have to give up for time. If you want your time back, you're going to have to give up your money to pay for it. That's why they call it time value money. What is your time worth it to you? So that's how much money you're going to have to give up in a business to run a business. You can't make every dime and there's no sense in killing yourself trying to do it. It's one of the hardest things for business owners to learn. Just like this laundromat, it's hard for me to sit at home all weekend, but I know they're working, I know they're running, they're making money. I don't need to be here every minute. I can look at my phone and see them, you know? But that's hard for people. But if you want your free time, you gotta stay at home sometimes, or go on vacation. Otherwise, why would you do all this? Why would you put up with the hassle? Minutes late, you're seven and six minutes left. You've gone through several rinse cycles, several washes. They're working. You like that? Two machines fixed.